so hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel today i'm here with a new video on toggle switch ui control before we start go and hit the subscribe button right there right now i will wait welcome to the house of pain and click that bell icon so first thing first we will make a checkbox the main animation part inside the window dot resources style target type will be checkbox now I set the property by using settler property is equal to template and for this I have a value Control template target type is checkbox. Now, here I give the border. content uh, name is content margin 10 o o o template binding Vertical alignment will be center. That's it. So we get here a toggle button like thing. Next is dot resources. And we make a storyboard here. I we have to give a name for this storyboard, so I'm giving the right. And inside this, we have a thickness animation. And now. I have to give the target property which is I want to target the margin and the target name which is button next is a duration for how much time you want this animation for four seconds and from two twenty eight zero so here what's happening in starting we have a margin right zero top zero left zero bottom zero and after the four second right is going to be 28 zero top zero left zero and bottom zero and inside this we have a thickness animation dot easing function what easing function will do Easing function it is used to make more natural for animation and 
here we have a, a circle is and inside circle is if I do here is out then it uh, will apply the function effect to the end of the animation so okay we are done with this similarly we have Target name button property background. This is going to be ruby. Value will be If this check is true, then begin storyboard right. Yes, we are done with this. So we have a table switch UI button. Let's run this. It's not working. Here I have to give name. which is right and here also name left and also change this name here this border name to button because WPF is confused and button here and button here. So, and what's the problem here? Uh, name property is not valid. Name must start with a letter or an underscore or it contains only letters digits okay let's run this it's working it's working and it's little bit slow we can do it fast by reducing the time here now it's look more natural so thank you guys